Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a walkthrough of some of the dimensioning tools uh, that are available in FreeCAD. It started out with just wanting to use the draft tool and I was working on a, a yet another case for uh, the Arduino and I wanted to measure the d distance between the USB and the power port. Now I have calipers and, a, and an Arduino but I get tired of like pulling out the calipers um, and I thought wow you know I have this model right here and I'd like to be able to measure it. Um, so my understanding of the draft tool has gotten to such where I felt like it was a good good time to try to revisit that. And I've done a little bit of videos on that before. Now the first thing I need to do is, um, this is an imported step file, and its orientation isn't conducive to, to, easy, to an easy workflow. You see if I do axiometric, it has the bottom and back facing forward, so I want the top and front facing forward. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a transform of this, and I, I wanted to record this to, to show you that uh, this transform tool in dot one seven is very useful if you look down in this left corner here when I transform it you'll see it gives you the rotation that's current you know that I'm currently at so I want it to go to 90 and then I want it to go to 180 so this is basically I'm mirroring this object in space um, and once that transform tool done is that stays in effect now when I do an orthographic view you see it, it presents as expected um, with that, let's get into doing the draft, the draft measure. Now that we have our Arduino well positioned, we can move to the draft workbench and start adding our dimension. So I'm going to select draft, draft workbench, and then you'll see that it's got the working plane set uh, to, you know, by default to auto, which is not the working plane we want. Um, that's it's set in the x y direction, and, and we don't want that. We want it to be on against this the, this face of the power port. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind while you're working with the plane is that you can't change the plane unless the grid is on. So if the grid is off and I try to change it, uh, the change doesn't take effect or there's some sort of buggy thing there, I'm not sure. So any changes in the working plane, make sure you have the grid on. So to change the working plane, I'm gonna select the face of the power port and I'm gonna click this button here. Now this shows you the current state of the working plane and it also allows you to select the working plane. So if I click that, you'll see it's set to, the, uh, to be um, tangent or parallel or whatever, I'm not sure, coincident with the current working plane or the face that I've selected. So with the current working plane now coincident with this face, I can do a measurement. Uh, I'm gonna turn on a couple of these snap tools so it's easier to select spots on the drawing. I'm going to click the dimension tool and I'm going to click the edge of this USB port. So you notice that even though I'm back far on the edge, the snap point is in the working plane. And that's what this tool does right here. That keeps all the selections in the current working plane. So now I'm going to hover over the edge here and you'll see again it's, it's snapped to the edge of the working plane. And the final thing I'm going to do is try to pick a spot. Is I'm going to try to snap to the working plane right there for height, let's put it right about there. So now that my dimension line is in place, but it looks terrible because guess what? Uh, the font's too small, so there is a measurement there, but it's really tiny. So we can change that by selecting the, the dimension line and um, going into the view, view tab in the combo view here. And we're gonna change the arrow size to 0.5. We'll change the type to an arrow. And you see the change is taking effect and we'll change the font size to three. So there's our dimension line in, um, in the draft workbench. Now, there's one thing else I want to change. I want to see if I can make these tick mark longer, tick marks longer. Um, extension lines, yeah, so three millimeters. Let's make them one millimeter, or no, let's make them two. So that's a very useful dimension line. It tells us, you know, it, it's in 3D space and shows us exactly what, what the measurement is. So that's, uh, that's my tour of the draft, uh, draft dimension line. I'm gonna show you tech draw next. So let's set our ortho view and let's go into tech draw. So tech draw is the newer of the drawing two. Drawing and dimensions, dimensioning was the first one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a page from a template because I created an eight and a half by 11 template so I can get the one-to-one -one drawings. And then I'm going to add a view of this object, so or a uh, yeah new view, and that's going to add it to the center. And because I repositioned it, I get the correct 
you know, perspective. If I had left this backwards, um, I'd, you know, I wouldn't be seeing the top. So in tech draw, you can see how much easier it can be to measure. I just select the line and hit measure. Or you select, or with control key, you can select two dots and select measure. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. And then you can also do things like uh, diameters and angles and whatnot. So that's tech draw. I prefer tech draw for, for doing anything more than a single measurement. Um, and I also like it because I can print this out and use it at, and hold it up against my part to make sure things align like these, these holes. So that's tech draw. The next thing we're gonna do is drawing and dimensioning. The drawing and dimensioning tool can be accessed from the workbench selection tool. And the first thing you're gonna do is add a new page so that's added the page from a template. And then to the page, we're gonna add an orthogra orthographic view of the current part. So I select the part and I select orthographic view. And after a few minutes, when my computer uh, catches up, we'll get a, we'll get a uh, orthographic view. So the orthographic view has shown up and you can see uh, it's the wrong direction right now. I want to be looking down from above. So if we look at our drawing, we'll see that looks like it's in the negative Z or positive Z. I'm not sure. So what we're going to do is view from, and we'll do, let's do positive Z first. And that's what we want. So you can change the viewing angle by selecting the negative or positive vector of the axes. So to get a, to get a dimension on this, um, let me close that dialog first. We use a dimensioning tool. And again, this is just as easy. I can either click a line and draw it out or or I can click the two dots now this this can be a little bit confusing because you see some of them have so many uh, green circles that you can't tell which one you're selecting so that's one of the reasons why I prefer, uh, prefer tech draw also uh, there's no easy way to print out a, a correct one-to-one uh, -one scale drawing from drawing and dimensioning that I know of so I hope you enjoyed this and um, if you like my channel make sure you subscribe and share it and like it and all that stuff and have a great day.